Hey guys, Jenny PRD, registered dietitian and nutrition expert. Thanks so much for checking in. This next series is all about healthy pregnancy. So whether you are wanting to conceive a baby pregnant, congratulations, or just had your baby, congratulations, this is for you. I'm gonna touch on so many different nutrients that are critical for growing babies as well as postpartum while you're nursing your babies, things like that to keep you and baby healthy. Before I get into it, I want to encourage you to please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, which simply means turning on notifications so anytime I upload a video, you're going to get similar to a text message from me, your girl Jenny, letting you know that I uploaded a new video. Make sure you say hi and comment below. Let me know what you want to learn about, what you want to uh, what you want me to talk about because after all this channel is for you i also want to give a quick shout out to my fat to fit weight loss group on facebook as well so this video is going to be about biotin biotin is a b vitamin which is really important for the embryonic growth of baby so that is the beginning stages of baby growing inside our belly and it's really important for us to prevent hair loss potentially Hormones are crazy and shifting and it could lead to hair loss during pregnancy, but it is all worth it for those babies that we are able to grow. But biotin can help prevent that hair loss. So how much do you need each day? 30 micrograms per day while pregnant and 35 micrograms per day when nursing after you have baby. So there's so many foods, fortunately, that contain biotin, so it's pretty easy to make sure you get enough each day. Foods like milk and cheese, raspberry, spinach, cauliflower, broccoli, potatoes, salmon, pork, as well as wheat bran. So there's so many foods that have this biotin, so simply adding it to your diet each day at your meals and your snacks is gonna help you reach that number that is needed. So simply adding a glass of milk if you wanted to at breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or all of the above. You can make some scrambled eggs for pretty much any meal. Eggs are a super food. And add some spinach and cheese or some broccoli and cheese. Having some wild salmon for dinner or some pork with some broccoli and cheese or some cauliflower and cheese for a side. Snacking on some raspberries with some nuts. That's gonna be good sources of biotin as well. I would encourage you to talk with your doctor about a prenatal vitamin if you are thinking about conceiving a baby as well as absolutely during your pregnancy just to make sure you are getting enough biotin and a bunch of other nutrients that I'm gonna to touch on. Thanks so much for checking in and stay tuned for more videos.